Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya for any of you that are new. In today's video, we are installing and trying out this new wig from Altre Hair. They sent over their melted hairline unit in the style Hermina, and I have it in the ginger brown shade. So I'm gonna make this a quick installation process today and just show you how I got the unit installed. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you continue to watch and definitely let me know your thoughts about this unit in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you're thinking is. All right, so here is the packaging. That's what the unit looks like or is supposed to look like. And then here is the inside of the unit. They do have an elastic band already attached in the wig for you. So it makes the unit a little bit easier to install as well as more hold when you wear this wig. So the lace does come a little bit pale. Um, some of their melted hairline units, they do come with pale lace. So what I end up doing is tinning that lace. So when I put the unit on, as you can tell by all of that, I was definitely feeling the wig. It's a very pretty wig. I like the style that they are giving with this wig. So I'm gonna cut off the lace first and then take it off and tint the lace. My first thought when I put the wig on was it's very, very big head friendly. I felt like I had a lot of space in this wig that I definitely could have done the adjustable straps that are inside the unit to make it like a tighter fit. And I didn't glue this wig down, I just installed it as is, but with the additional lace they give you around the hairline, you can use some type of adhesive spray or glue to hold your wig in place in case you do you know, need a little bit more security throughout the day while you're wearing it. Now with their Melted Hairline series, the units are supposed to just melt into your skin very well, of course, and basically look very natural, you know? And um, I do think that the lace looked good, like it melted into the skin good, but they could have thinned out the hairline just a tad bit, but since they didn't, the way they do make these wigs, you can pluck them yourself. Personally, I wore it as is. I did not do any additional plucking, but I do think when I wear this unit again, I am going to pluck out that hairline just a tad bit more, just so it isn't super dense at the root. It was just a little too dense for me. So the unit does take heat, you guys. I used my hot comb on it to flatten out the roots because you can, as you can see, um, with me going over with the hot comb now, it's definitely flattening out the roots a lot more. It's not as thick as it was. It makes it look more natural that way. Ginger brown is one of my favorite colors that Altre offers in their wigs. I really love that color play. It's like a orangey shade with some hints of brown and the roots are more dark and black, but most of their ginger brown units or the, or the units that they offer in ginger brown are usually always so pretty. I really loved the bang on this wig. I love how full it is. I love a good bouncy, full, high density bang. So this unit is only left part. So if you wear this unit or you decide to purchase this unit, please keep in mind that it is gonna be a left, a left hand side parting space. And I know some people prefer their parting spaces to for sure be on the right. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase the wig. It does have very tight curls in it, you guys. Um, but when you look at the stock card, I feel like it gives more of a wavy look, like extremely loose curl, wave texture. But once I took the unit out of the packaging, these curls are extremely tight. Now I am gonna go in and brush them out and comb them out some to see if I can get that wavy look what the stock card is giving. But it didn't necessarily turn out that way.
I will say that I'm happy that the unit didn't do a lot of shedding or tangling at that point when I brushed it out. Now, the unit does say that it comes with baby hairs. So I did go in and just try to see how I would like the baby hairs to look if I wore it with the wig, but I think I preferred it more so without the baby hairs. So it's really up to you, but just so you know, they do offer that if that's what you choose. So here's a 360 view of the wig as well to see what the back of it looks like. I feel like it's giving more long in the front, short in the back type vibes it's super duper curly i was really hoping that it was going to be a lot more of that wavy vibe but that isn't what we were getting but overall i would rate this unit about a good 8 out of 10 it's a very well made unit it's a decent wig um it's not like a super duper top favorite but it's still cute and i think it would be even more enjoyable to wear if it were all black i think i would really really like that in this style wig because it would fall in that everyday wear type of category but yeah you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section below let me hear your thoughts um and i will have a link in that description bar as well for you to purchase this wig if you are interested in it i want to say thank you again i'll try forcing it over today's wig thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all